In this problem, we have to represent the plane curve by a vector-valued function. Solution. So the idea is, we know that cosine squared plus sine squared is 1. So that's an identity from trigonometry. So here we have a 4. Okay. So the only way to get a 4 is if maybe we do 2 cosine t squared plus 2 sine t squared. If we do this, what happens is we get a 4, because this becomes 2 squared, which is 4. This becomes 2 squared, which is 4. And you can pull out the 4, and you get cosine squared t plus sine squared t. And that's 1, so you get 4 times 1, which is 4, which is what we have on the right-hand side up here. So the idea is we want something like 2 cosine t and 2 sine t. So what we'll do is we'll call this piece here 2 cosine t. And we'll call the y piece 2 sine t. OK, so let's do it. So we have x minus 2 equals 2 cosine t. And we can solve this for x. So x would be equal to 2 plus 2 cosine t. And then here, y is simply 2 sine t. And you can convince yourself, if you replace this with this, the same thing is going to happen as it did over here. And we'll end up with 4, right? Because this becomes 2 sine t squared, and you get 4 times 1, which is 4. So the final answer is a vector-valued function, r of t, and that's equal to x of t i hat plus y of t j hat. And then you just replace x and y with what we said they were. So the vector-valued function, r of t, is equal to 2 plus 2 cosine t i hat plus 2 sine t j hat. That's it.